I just finished putting in the rear window of my bowler and that was probably one of the most difficult projects of the entire renovation. We've took the, taken the body off the frame, gutted the whole inside, painted the whole exterior, and that is what gave me the most trouble. Yeah, so I guess I kind of forgot about this mess and all the uh, missing furniture. So uh, let me just fix that real quick. It looks a lot better. New coat of paint on these. I just need the cushions. All right, let's get packing. So this weekend I wanted to challenge myself and get out of the norm that has been the last few months. Uh, obviously with the pandemic it's been tough for everyone, but I've just been very busy uh, and my mind has been very occupied thinking and, and planning of everything. Um, I'm moving, moving away from home soon and uh, running my business and long distance relationship and music stuff and all sorts of things. So. Lots of things going on and just lots of screen time and constant thinking and so I wanted to get away from that and so this weekend I'm kind of going without a plan just taking off and we'll see where things take me and I've been doing so much planning recently that I decided to just skip that part and uh, just try and have some fun and so we'll see where that takes us and uh, happy year uh, coming along so let's go. made it up to the Warsaw Caves, which is only about an hour away from me actually, but I've uh, never been here and it's supposed to be pretty cool. There seems to be a lot of people here, so that is a good sign because it's open and I can actually go there. And so we're going to go check it out. So I'm not really supposed to be here, but uh, I won't be doing anything too dangerous and I'm just going to check it out quick, see what it's like. Hold down there. We're out here in the forest, I'm all by myself. It's dead silent. Beautiful rocks and trees, which I love. And this is just a good time to release everything. Just breathe, just relax, and enjoy for a bit. Gotta love it. So that turned out to be a huge success. I was pretty much the only one there and uh, just explored the caves, see how they all connected, and uh, lots of cool stuff. So I'm going to head down the road um, because there's apparently some falls or a river of sorts, and I'm gonna check that out, and maybe that's a good spot to have some lunch, so. See this right here? That's P right there. That's Q. Where you been, darling? Chasing after God in a wayward car It's time to get started I can hear the echoes from where you are All you got is breaking It's hard to feel the ground underneath your feet When everybody's taken 
mean cheese. Best caps so you could hardly breathe and if all it is, is currency. Just remember how to set it all free. Life ain't making sense again. Close your eyes and count to ten. So thankfully I found a spot to stay for the night. I'm up here on Stony Lake uh, at the marina and the guys inside were nice enough to let me stay. So I'm gonna set up the bowler and I'm gonna head up for a paddle. Uh, it's beautiful calm waters and it's gonna be a nice sunset. So looking forward to that. Today turned out a lot better than I expected to. I had virtually no plan, no reservations, just an idea, and I said yes to it. I committed to it, and I ended up having a wonderful time. And it's a beautiful night, and I'm here by myself, so I have lots of time to enjoy and reflect. Cheers. Wait for departure time Sit still and wait in line I need to sleep, I need a sign Think of So I'm going to finish off my night by writing in my journal I like to keep track of the bigger events in my life So from month to month and year to year I write things down and I can look back on them in 10 years and 20 and 30 years and remember what I did and so I don't get a lot of time to write in this and so I figured this is a good time because it's like 7 30 p.m. and it feels like 11 and so we're just gonna chill and it might be an early night So I had a super quiet night in the bowler. Woke up to another beautiful lake, calm lake. And so we're gonna get cracking, I'm gonna make some breakfast. And I wanna hit one more stop before I uh, call it for the weekend. So we'll see what that's like. I'll fall down on your mind. I'll get up and you're a stranger. Out of sight, out of mind. No wanting to surrender
Ok. After almost an hour of brisk walking, which was good exercise, uh, the park is officially closed and I cannot enter. So I guess that's what you get for not knowing what the hell you're doing and just winging it. Um, I was picturing this open air uh, rock face or cave that had a bunch of carvings and stuff I could read and, and learn about uh, the communities who, and the people who, who lived here. And uh, that was not the case, of course it's sacred land so I was expecting not to be able to film which is okay um, but I wanted to see it and, and learn the things and I was excited about that um, it was all fenced in and perhaps a, uh, a building to go through as well so my expectations did not meet the reality and that's what you get for not doing your research but uh, you win some and you lose some so uh, I'm gonna see what's around the corner see what's up next So I'm gonna pack up and head home. Uh, it's about three o'clock and I have a few hours drive home. But I was just reflecting on how wonderful of a weekend I had uh, by myself. And so normally that's not what a lot of people consider to be fun. And it's not necessarily the only thing I consider to be fun either. But it's something that I wanted to challenge myself to do because I've never really done that before. Like how often can you say that you spent two days by yourself with no family, no friends, no loved ones, no pets, just you uh, outside. Kind of getting free of everything that you've been thinking about and stressing about and planning. And so life is so busy and will continue to be so busy. And your brain will always make up things to try and worry you for the next step. And sometimes that's just a lot to handle and you just need a break from it. And so this was my challenge to me, and though it may not have been so difficult, um, it was important to my well-being. And just starting that next chapter in my life um, as I move, make the big move up to Ottawa and start a new job and build my business there. And so this transitional period is a lot to take on, and so I'm going to be making sure that I'm taking some time for myself. So during this crazy time, I challenge you to whenever you get the chance, slow down, don't rush, and take care of yourself. Looking forward to the next one. Cheers. If you're far enough